All right, so this is a Game Boy game that a friend online is developing. Let's see here. All right. And it's called <laughs> Alley Wow. So, I mean, the title screen says Alley. Uh, the name of the ROM is Alley Wow, which is a great name. It's like Alleyway plus Wow. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, <laughs> I recognize some of these graphics. First step, are you ready? I'm just kidding. I recognize all these graphics. Oh. Hello, butterfly. All right, we've got jumping. We've got walking. And that is it. So I have 85 seconds. What happens if I touch this horse? I'm going to try this horse. <laughs> I'm ready. First step. <gasps> Do I have unlimited lives? Oh, I had to start over. See, I really appreciate it. This is good. This is so much better. Back in the 90s, people would have insisted, oh, you got three tries. And then if you fail, then you have to go back to the title screen and start all over again. And I'm thinking, why? Like, just let me try again. I'm so glad the whole concept of extra lives is finally coming uh, to an end. All right, so let's see. Mr. Vulture and Mr. Horse. They both come in back and forth on the sides of the screens, but not at the same times. Oh, and sometimes the middle of the screens. I like that uh, I don't bonk my head on the top of the screen. That's good. Oh, look at that mega toe. <laughs> it's a common in video games where uh, the character can... Uh, <laughs> it's just something I... It's it's no, completely normal and nothing that needs to change. I just love how they can... Uh, I, I like to think about it in real life, hanging off the edge of the ledge, but just your toe like that. <laughs> kind of goofy. All right, let's see if I can uh, count all the references in this, in this game. We've got uh, Clouds and Mario from Super Mario Bros. 1 for the NES. We've got the horse from Tiny Toon Adventures 2, Montana movie, Montana's Movie Madness for Game Boy. Uh, along with, I think the vultures are from there too. And butterflies. Uh, I don't recognize the butterflies. Well, crap. Yahoo! Oh. No fall damage. Am I running low on time? Oh, I've only got 30. I do need to pick up the pace. Oof. I assume this would be easy. Because there's not a lot going on. If I can't find it, it means it's under an enemy somewhere. Hey, I did it. 50 coins. 19 seconds left. Round two, birds attack. Oh, I'm ready. Hmm. Oh, the bird goes all the way across the screen this time. What did I hear? I heard this was uh, <clears throat> programmed in the C programming language, which, uh, oh, how do I put it? So there's three main ways to make games for Game Boy nowadays. One is, oh, it's behind the horse. One is, uh, the easiest way is Game Boy Studio. Game Boy Studio is a software application that allows all oh, people to make uh, Game Boy games without any knowledge of programming. It's basically point and click, point and click, uh, you know, draw pictures, move them around the screen, uh, tell the program uh, what they're gonna do what they represent, the characters, whatever, their actions, and then press play. 
and it builds it into a Game Boy game. It's incredible. It's one of the reasons Game Boy software development has exploded in popularity in the past few years. It's a great piece of software. Uh, it is a little limited because uh, the types of games you can make are based on a template. Like, uh, what is it? You can't, uh, I mean, you can't just make any type of game. You can make a side scroller. You can make a top-down Pokemon exploration sort of game. Uh, I don't know too much about it. I, I've uh, opened it up to try something out real quick, but uh, I didn't really learn how to do it, how to use it. Uh, a second way, so that's uh, Game Boy Studio. Another way to make Game Boy games is using the C programming language, uh, which is what this was made with. Psycho Circus, Psycho Circus. No, I can't think of it. Oh, both guys are going to run across the screen, aren't they? Well, this is a good increase in difficulty. Gotta go fast. Dude, 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 dude! He turned around. Seriously? I got this, I got this. What? Wait a minute, I see a problem here. All right, well, I want to chat more, so I'm just going to keep playing until I'm done telling my story. Um... C programming language and using C, uh, I don't know. It's a, well, I, mean, I was going to say it was a pretty common programming language. It's the most popular programming language, uh, from what I understand. And I love C. Uh, I don't use it too much uh, nowadays, but I do have a special place in my heart for a C programming language, uh, and it can be used to make Game Boy games. So it's a good it's a good balance between a lot of power and control in what type of games you can make, but also um, not too difficult, not too difficult to use because the, uh, oh, and there's different libraries you can use to make it even easier. Uh, the third way of making a Game Boy game is with assembly language, which is, uh, I mean, you can't get, you can't get any lower or I guess I don't want to say more difficult, <laughs> more intricate than uh, assembly language. And uh, many times it was the way, that was the way programmers made Game Boy games back in the 80s and 90s and into the 2000s. Pretty incredible stuff. So this was made using the middle method the C programming language, which I think is quite impressive. Um, what are my comments so far about the game? All right, the developer already knows that <laughs> the artwork is all placeholder. It's all copied from other games. Um, I like that there's no extra lives. Uh, there does need to, uh, there's no reason, there's no reason for me to, uh, to replay uh, stage is already beat if I make a mistake on a later stage. I made it to stage three and then I died and then I had to start over at stage one again. So uh, consider just having the player try again on the stage that they already made it to. And of course the... Uh... Well, David, what's the consequence then of dying? Well, the consequence is you have to start all over again trying to collect all 50 coins on the stage that you're at. Um, which is a good consequence. So it's letting the player just try again with the challenge that was presented in the stage without having forcing them to replay everything that they already succeeded at. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, the jumping physics. <laughs> the jumping physics work great. They don't bother me. They work great, and uh, not once have I been angry at the controls or anything. Uh, personally, I prefer a... Uh, so the jumping physics, it's straight up, straight down, including when you bonk your head. And <laughs> I don't know. I just love I love a nice uh, parabolic arc to uh, jumping. So, you know, you pop off the ground really fast, and then uh, slowly decrease in speed until you get to the very top of the jump, and then slowly increase in speed as you go down until you get to your fastest and uh, hit, the, hit the ground again. 
All right, here's our loss last time. Apparently, I am playing it all over again. Gotta get my revenge on this horse. It's not gonna be too bad as long as I don't... Well, I gotta rush a little bit. Otherwise, I'll run out of time. Is the horse really just going... He does just go left and right. Like a psycho circus. Perfect. Oh, I want that. Get up there. Don't come this way. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. No problem. Yahoo! Oh. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Get up there. Um. Oh! I just realized the little butterfly in the background is programmed with... Well, not AI. AI has kind of a new meaning nowadays. With a little... Uh, programmed with a little... Um, algorithm to fly back and forth between the uh, the flowers. I mean, that takes work. It's stuff like that. When you look at games as a whole and think, uh, I don't know, you see it all just kind of work together as a player, but it's stuff like that that takes specific thought. It has to be, uh, has to be programmed into existence. And it's little things like that that really uh, add to a game. So what kind of theme would I make for this game if I was going to redo the graphics? Oh, was there anything else popping in my head? Oh, the uh, the hit, well, mm, the hit detection for <laughs> totally not Mario's head. Uh-oh, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Oh, it's not fine. All right, I'm out. No, I'm not ready. The hit detection for Mario's head is a little, <sighs> it's not it's not it's not wrong if I go one pixel to the left I don't know I think it's fine it's pixel perfect well, not pixel perfect it's tile perfect so anytime Mario gets uh, bumps the block oh, I want to see what happens when my time runs out that's what I should do I haven't tried that because I'm too fast uh, let's see. It looks like the bird is using... Oh, how do I do this? I want the bird to go back up on the top layer again. Because if I remember correctly... Uh, I can't see it in this stage. I saw it on stage three. I think the bird's eyes are set to the transparency color. And they need to be, they should be changed to the uh, white color. Every Game Boy tile or sprite um, can have up to three colors. Uh, they have four colors, but the fourth color is always, well, almost always transparency. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't look like a, a brick. <laughs> but uh, I think the bird's eyes were accidentally set to transparent. So when he flew past the clouds in one of the later stages, um, you can see the cloud through his eyes, so that should be tweaked. If I'm right, I might be wrong. Uh, it looks like Mario is four tiles big. It always blows my mind how much, uh, how much, uh, I don't know. Like, the Game Boy gives you eight, eight pixel by eight pixel tiles to work with, and th that's so tiny. Like, almost nothing in a Game Boy game. I guess those coins, the coins and the butterfly are both... 8x8 eight eight pixels. That's a great animation for the coin. I wonder who made that. Oh. All right. 12 seconds left. I want to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, yeah, there's no sound or sound effects or music. FYI. <laughs> Mario dies. Cool. Well programmed. Um. So so far it's wow. <laughs> this is so simple. Like <laughs> it almost makes me angry how uh, how simple and engaging this is. Like I know I can beat stage three, but 
Um, so I want to try again, even though, uh, I mean, look at this game. It's, it's so basic, but it still makes me want to, want to try more. <laughs> Sometimes I worry I spend too much time trying to think of these fancy, fancy, uh, crazy new game ideas and really this is all that's needed. <laughs>